Let me show you a really easy way to access the file manager if you don't have access to the website manager where you have access to this file manager. Now, this is going to work on a WordPress site because it's based on a plugin. So let me show you what I'm talking about right now. What's up, everyone? I want to show you a free plugin that can give you access to the file manager in case you can't access it from your website manager. So that means if you can access your BPS manager, cPanel, Plesk, etc., or you're managing a website for a company that they don't have access to the hosting part, this is a great way to access the file manager. Now, this is going to work on WordPress. Now, all you have to do is go into plugins, add new, and search for file manager. The one I recommend is the one that has the most installs, 1 million active installs, and it's plain and simple, file manager. Now, before I show you how it works, let me show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. They have great affordable shared hosting that you can grab right now. So go into the link in the description and jump into hosting, web hosting, and you're going to be able to view the plans that they have available. So they have plans from $2.99 from all the way up to $9.99 per month. Now I'm going to recommend this one, the most popular one, which is $3.99, which gives you access to 100 websites, 200 gigabytes of NVMe storage, and a whole lot more, even a free domain. So let's go ahead and add it to cart because I want to show you how to apply an extra discount coupon code that I have. Now, once you are here, Hostinger is going to ask you how many months do you want to pay in advance? I recommend 48 months. You lock in the lowest price, lowest renewal price, plus you're good to go for 48 months. No payments until then, all right? Now, right now, the price is $191.52, but if you add my coupon code, which is SASMaster, and apply it, the price is going to drop to $172.37. So if you plan to grab a shared hosting plan, use my coupon code. Now, for the plugin, like I said, it's already installed. I already searched for it, and you're going to have a new menu here on the left. So go ahead and select it. And the first thing that's going to open up is the actual file manager. So let me go ahead and start from the beginning. So you have access to the admin section, the content section, and the includes. So if you need to modify plugins in the context section, the theme, your uploads, etc., you will have access to them from here. So for example, if you are having issues with a certain plugin, you can go ahead and open it up here and you can go ahead and rename this in case it's causing some bugs. So you can go ahead and delete it or modify it from here. So let's go ahead and open this up just for testing purposes. You have access, for example, for the text. And yes, right click does work. So if I want to open it up from here, I have access to this section. I can go ahead and edit this and then I can go ahead and download it and upload again. You have all the settings practically that you would on the file manager that you find on the website manager on the back end. So it's a really great option. If you don't have access to it, using it here is one of the best options. Okay. Now, aside from this, you have all the bells and whistles, for example, shift and select, and then you can select all of this. Like I said, right click works also, which is a super fantastic idea. You can go ahead and download, preview, upload files, duplicate, practically everything that you have over there. So that's for the file manager. Like I said, you get access to the three main folders where most of the content is and the main section for all of this. So if you need to edit the PHP files, the index, the ACT access, you do have access to it from here. Now there's also settings for the file manager in case you want to work on this. So in settings, these will be available on the pro version. So you get a lot of options, the general options, code editor, user restrictions, user role restrictions, and front end access. So this is just a plain screenshot of everything that you can do if you buy the pro version. Like I said, I would only get that if you really, really need it. But if not, you're good to go with the free version. Okay. You got the public roof path, which is, which is set by default because it knows where it is. But if you need to change it, you can do so from here. Enable trash. So if you need to delete, you can do so from here and restore because you have a trash folder created. Okay. Enable file upload to media library. So if you want to enable that and maximum allowed size at the time of database backup restore. So 67 by default, you can go ahead and modify that if you like. But basically, that is the free file manager that you have access to in case you can't access it from the back end where the website manager is. But there you go. That is this free plugin. If you want to grab it, the link we provided in the description. And that's a wrap.